What's up guys, Team Monk here, and today in this video, today this is the video you guys have all been waiting for. Um, this is the first ever Team Vlogger Q&A video. <laughs> so, just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, th this is the first ever um, Team Vlogger Q&A video, and I'm really excited. I have my um, my uh, iPad here. I, I was going to do it on my phone, but I realized my iPad was actually bigger, kind of bigger to see. So, um, basically, if you guys don't know what Q&A is, I'm basically answering um, uh, the questions um, the questions from that you guys had on I put on a separate video. Um, it's already too late, unfortunately. You got, if you guys, in case some of you guys did want to do it, that you haven't done it yet, but I um, I answered. I'm gonna be answering the questions uh, that you guys uh, gave me on my um, on one of my uh, recent videos. I think it was titled "Ask Me Some Questions." Yeah, "Ask Me Some Questions" Q and A coming soon. So I'm gonna be there's 19 comments, and I think some of them were by me. So. Uh, responding to the people so I'm gonna be what I'm gonna be doing is answering the question <laughs> I'm talking really fast because I don't have much memory in my camera but um, yeah I'll go ahead and do it and and uh, and, um, and uh, I just want to say a uh, shout out to uh, Sarnox and Jack Tube um, that uh, suggested me to do this because you know it was you know they wanted me to uh, do it and and I've always had the idea of doing like a, um, a Q&A in my mind but I never really um, didn't think many people would call, uh, ask questions, but I guess a lot of people did, so I'm like, alright, well, I might as well, uh, just do it, so, um, let's get started, and, um, let me see, uh, let me go ahead and answer the first question, alright, so, the first question comes from Keith Reviews Movie and Cartoons, he's a good friend of mine, by the way, um, Keith, he's, he also joins my live streams as well, and joins the calls, and, uh, you know, Pretty nice having him on there, but he asked, and I'll show you guys his profile um, in case you want to subscribe to him or anything like that. So that's how it looks. So let me go ahead and answer the question. But yeah, I'll just, I'll uh, read it to you guys. Um, why do you like Lion King one and a half? Well, that's the first question he asked. Um, uh, for uh, for Keith, uh, I'll I'll tell him. I like what Lion King one and a half because there's a lot of um, action in it. Um, and in fact, I do actually like one, Lion King one and a half more than Lion King, like the actual movie. Um, I feel like even though there's a lot of action going on in the first Lion King, I, and by the way, I haven't watched, those are my Discord notifications, uh, but by the way, I haven't watched uh, Lion King one and a half in uh, a very long time. I think it's been like almost, I don't, I don't even know at this point, but when I was much younger, um, but I, I do like Lion King one and a half more. I feel like there's more action in it. And I like seeing from Timon and Pumbaa's side of the story um, a little bit more. It's more interesting from where Timon like starts off, um, where he starts off on the adventure. Then he meets Pumbaa and he meets uh, all these characters. When Lion King, it's more like, um, even though I haven't seen Lion King in a long time as well, it's been like five years. Um, it's still, um, it's kind of like a classic Disney kind of movie, but I feel like Lion King 1 and a half, there's so much action, so much going on, there's like that. It starts off where, um, where I don't know what, uh, where Timon lives, where he's digging through the dirt to, uh, the place he always wanted to go, um, the, um, uh, like the waterfall jungle place, the, where he always, he, you know, he's always wanted to go to, to, um, to, uh, somehow ending up in the, rock cave rock area or I don't know how it's called I don't know what it's called but the cave rock area um that's kind of why I, I like Lion King one and a half more and in fact I should watch that um cause I just do <laughs> I'm sorry Keith I know you like I know I don't know if it's a bad movie for you but yeah in, in just my opinion I do like Lion King one and a half more I just feel like there's more action to it and it's more entertaining it's I think it's more entertaining I've always liked it more and um I used to watch it on a, a VHS VHS tape. I used to um, have this this big uh, tape that I would because my parents still had tapes back then, and it wasn't and uh, and I'm like okay and I used to watch movies like that. I used to uh, I had this whole this big tape and I would just put it in like that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, Keith uh, says here uh, that's a joke and yeah it, it's a it's a joke but I, I at least I did answer the question. Um, my real question is, do you ever celebrate any other holidays than the main three? I celebrate New Year's. Um, usually what we do on New Year's is my, um, my, um, my parents' friends, they come over 
and I've have I have filmed a couple videos with them. They would come over, and we would just um, and we would just you know have a good time. We would eat out and um, do some fun things and watch movies. Yeah, uh, last time we watched last year we watched Star Wars, the new Star Wars, and that wasn't a good that wasn't that great of a movie, but we watched it. <laughs> And um, this year, unfortunately, they're not going to be coming over because, um, you know, you know what it is. Um, but, I, yeah, but uh, I don't celebrate really any other holidays. Oh, I celebrate Easter. I do celebrate Easter a lot. Um, I have, we have, um, and, you know, I have a bunch of holiday bins. I have Halloween bin. I have a Thanksgiving bin, a Christmas bin. I used to have a Valentine's Day bin, but I think... Um, I think we don't. Ha I think we just kind of got rid of that because we didn't have that much stuff. But uh, I do have an Easter bin, and um, and yeah, I love Easter. I love Easter. Um, I used to um, back then when uh, Corona, when the coronavirus wasn't a thing, we used to go to um, we used to decorate our e um, Easter eggs, then go to church, and then go to eat. Uh, we usually eat at Denny's, um, and that was very fun. I uh, really enjoyed that. Um, anyway, so yeah, th if you're wondering, Keith, um, yes, that is uh, what I, we, uh, um, that's what I, I celebrate, uh, and also 4th of July as well. Those, I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day because it's not much to celebrate, really, but I do celebrate, uh, I don't, and St. Patrick's Day as well, don't really do that as much. We kind of decorate, but that's it. Uh, but 4th July, I really like 4th of July. Uh, I love doing fireworks. Um, but, um, will you, sh uh, okay, the next question comes from JackTube, JJJ, show you right here. Yeah, so, anyway, he asked, will you show, wait, oh, never mind, he, <laughs> okay, anyway, let me move on. Um, from, next is from Ascend the Clown Hunter, and I'll show you his uh, profile picture in a little bit in case you want to subscribe to him. Um, what type of props do you want to see at the Halloween and Party Expo for t uh, 2021? Um... Something besides clown props, because I know Seasonal Visions always does, like, um, you know, clown props and stuff. I do want to see something different. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I, I do want to see something different. I want to see, like, um, I don't know, maybe possibly... That's a good question. I mean, I'm not really sure. I want to see more, more like, a different kind of layout. Um, something that's, di like, not clown-related. Something that's more of a zombie kind of related thing. More of a, um, more of a, uh, different kind of, um, setup. Not, not necessarily clowns, but maybe zombies. Maybe just the classic things like witch props, uh, ghosts, vampires, of especially vampires. And, uh, as Han Form would say, aliens. Something else we need, I feel like. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the next question, but... Uh, great question to send. Uh, shout out to you. I'll show you guys his profile picture in case you want to subscribe to him. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Alright, next comes from JackTube, JJJ, right here. Uh, he asked, um, oh man, shoot, I only have four minutes left of recording. Um, when did you start putting props? I think what he means is, when, when did I start collecting props? Um, actually, hold on a second. Sorry about that, guys. I actually deleted some footage because um, because I was running out of room, major room on my camera. But anyway, uh, let me lift this up. Anyway, so yeah, the next question comes from uh, yeah Jack Two JJJ. I'll show you guys this uh, question. Um, it says, uh, "When did you start putting props up?" And I think what he means is, "When did you start collecting props?" Now, uh, my parents uh, would buy um, back in uh, back when I was like in around two, two or three. My parents would buy. Uh, little uh, Halloween toys for me, like little animated uh, dancing, or not dancing, but little animated um, toys. And um, my first major prop that I really ever got was the Rising from the Grave Reaper when uh, with the um, light up eyes, and I think that was like around in 2011. Um, and that was like my first like kind of prop, animatronic kind of prop, like the big, you know, big sizes. And then my first, um, then my first, then after that, I start getting a little bit more. Then after, um, then my actual first life size that I got was Twilight Twitcher, which was in, um, 2017. Uh, he was actually my first life size, um, like, you know, tall life size. Um, yeah, it was Twilight Twitcher. And I still, um, I absolutely love Twilight Twitcher. He's a great prop. Um, all right, so, 
The next question comes from Adrian, and I'll show you guys. Um, actually, sorry about that. Okay, next comes from Jack Two again. Show you guys his profile. Uh, it says, uh, "Do you uh, like travel? Do you like taught traveling places during the holidays?" I think what he means, "Do you like traveling places during the holidays?" Yes, and I haven't really done that uh, in a long time. I haven't really traveled anywhere. Um, in a long time, even last year, I never really traveled anywhere, but I, I do love, I do absolutely love traveling places during the holidays. I would go to, um, San Francisco during the holidays and just hang out there and, um, go to my grandparents' house and they live in, uh, Sacramento. And, um, and yeah, it was, it was very, it was, um, very, uh, fun to do that stuff. But unfortunately that doesn't really exist this year. So that's a little unfortunate. Um... Okay, the next question comes from Adrian. Uh, wait, let me see right here. Okay, sorry about that. The next question comes from Adrian. I'll show you. He has a bunch of questions. So, uh, but yeah, here's his, uh, you know, account. All right, anyway, so, question one. What is your least favorite thing about woolly mammoths? Probably that they're extinct. <laughs> probably. That's probably why, that they're extinct. Because uh, as you can see, he has a picture of a woolly mammoth. But yeah, it's probably probably because they're extinct. And uh, okay, question two: When is uh, this coming from Adrian? He has around uh, he has six questions, but this is uh, question number two: um, When is your next live stream? Now, uh, today is Friday. My next live stream will be this Sunday. In case any of you guys are wondering, my next live stream will be this Sunday. It will um, it will be a Christmas live stream, so it's not going to be like the normal live streams I normally do. It won't be an awakening live stream, or won't be a regular live stream. It's going to actually be a Christmas live stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put like a Christmas tree in the background. I'm going to play some Christmas music, and um, just and it's also going to be a rainy day, so it's going to be like a kind of a Christmassy kind of day. And I just want to play Christmas music, you know, just hang out and talk and uh, have a good time. And I'll also be wearing like some Christmas. Um, kind of costumes and stuff so uh, in case you guys are interested in joining uh, uh, that you can, guys can uh, totally join and I'm also going to be doing a stream call as well so in case any of you guys are interested um, yeah you guys can totally join that so yeah my next live stream will be this Sunday and it will be a uh, Christmas live stream so and I haven't actually done a Christmas live stream in uh, two years uh, last year wasn't that motivated but uh, yeah so question three what is your name well, my channel name is Team Vlogger, but I think he, I think you're meaning my real name. Um, so I've been thinking about like uh, wanting to tell you guys my actual name, but I haven't really. Um, but one of the reasons I, I never really did was just because I just never really did. Uh, but I was thinking about doing it um, very soon. Now I'm not going to say when. I don't have an exact date, but I was thinking about um, just. I was thinking about doing it really soon, and I never really gave a reason why. There's not really that much of a reason why I just kind of had the channel's Teen Blogger and then people started to be calling me Teen and stuff. I just never really, never really brought up to my mind to say my real name. And I feel like I would say, I would say my real name, but the, but the thing is, is that um, I feel like if I say my real name, it's going to be kind of weird um, for people to start calling me my actual name. And then, and then um, it's just going to be kind of weird because I know a lot of you guys have been watching my channel for a long time. Then when I say my real name, it's just kind of... Um, and only a few people uh, who are watching know my real name, but um, I just feel like it's just um, it's just kind of weird because after all this time, it's you know. But I am going to eventually say it. Like I, I will eventually say it. Um, but I just feel like not right now at the time. But um, and I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm not trying to. Um, hide it or be like, oh no, it's my personal information or anything like that. It's not because it's my personal information or anything like that. Uh, it's just because I just never, first of all, I never really said it. And, uh, se and second, it's just kind of, um, I feel like if I say it now, it's just kind of weird. I feel like I want to wait till a certain time, um, to say it, but yeah, it's not any privacy or anything like that. Nothing about privacy, but, uh, it's just kind of, um, it's just kind of, I feel like it's kind of weird saying it now, but I want to wait till perfect time where I'm like, all right, here's my full name. Um, but I mean, you guys can take guesses. I mean, you, you know, but, uh, but you know, I still have kind of a name, uh, you know, team blogger, but anyway, um, question number four from Adrian, what is your favorite video that you did? 
I don't know. I made I, I've made so many uh, videos. I made 600 videos. I don't even know at this point. One of my favorite videos I ever made was um, was uh, when I used to, when I went to Spirit in 2016 and 2018. Those are my favorite videos that I've ever made because I just had so much fun. Just um, and especially doing live streams as well. It's one of my favorite things to do on my channel, just because I like to interact with people and stuff. I, I like doing that. So. That's, you know, that's one of my favorite things to just kind of do in my channel, but. Alright, so, question number um, five from Adrian. What is your favorite um, extinct animals besides woolly mammoth? M mammoth. Um, maybe dodo birds? Possibly. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, probably dodo birds, I think. I, I don't really know that much of extinct animals. Uh, dinosaurs, not big of a fan of. Um... Question number six is uh, uh, Adrian's last question. Will, would you ever change your YouTube name? Um, I've already did. It was actually called Roger Saria, uh, but I actually did change uh, the YouTube. Uh, I, I did change it um, a few years ago. I just changed it to Team Vlogger because, well, first of all, I was like, it, it kind of fits me better. Um, you know, I, I think it kind of fits me better, and I'm like, okay, let's. I'll just change it to Team Vlogger because it kind of fits just the name just because you know teen and then vlogger I'm just vlogging with the camera so I felt like it kind of fit a little bit better um, just having the channel name is teen vlogger uh, so yeah I, I have changed my name before but would I change it again um, probably not I mean maybe when I you know because obviously I'm, I'm almost an adult but um, but yeah, probably, probably maybe soon, maybe one day I'll change it. I don't know. Um, that's something that I'll figure out, um, in the future. But, um, anyways, guys, um, yeah, that's basically wrap up the Q&A. I might, I'll probably do a Q&A maybe next year sometime. Maybe in the middle of next year or maybe, maybe, uh, maybe in March or something like that. But yeah, I'll probably do another Q&A soon. Uh, but anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a Christmas live stream on, uh, in, uh, on Sunday at uh, 12 o'clock uh, for the West Coast time. So if you live on the West Coast, that's the time I'm doing it at 12 o'clock. If you live on the other side or wherever, you, wherever else you live, um, you uh, try to do the math on that in case you guys are wondering, uh, in case you guys know. So yeah. Anyways guys, I want to thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video. Um, you know, I really appreciate you guys' questions, and um, I'm glad we did this. This was uh, pretty fun. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Please dislike this video if you dislike it. Disliked it. And um, anyways, guys, um, leave a comment below what you guys thought about the Q&A in case you guys want me to do more or anything like that. And anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next video. And remember, stay vlogging. Actually, I'll see you guys. Well, I'll do, I'm going to be doing a stream. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Thank you guys, Merry Christmas, or whatever holiday you celebrate. If you don't celebrate any holidays, hope you have a great rest of the day. See you guys in the next video, and remember, stay vlogging.